Hi, I'm Christina Pope. I'm the Senior Research Editor with the Knowledge Exchange Division in CoBank. I'm joined today by Brian Ernest. He is the Animal Protein Lead Analyst. Welcome, Brian. Hi, Christina. Nice to see you today. Your report is on highly pathogenic avian influenza, or HPAI. Uh, it emerged in U.S. commercial poultry flocks earlier this year, 2022. Um, after seven years since the last outbreak. So let me ask you, what's the same this time and what's different? Well, much like what occurred in 2015, HPAI has most severely impacted turkey and egg production. From a market impact, we've seen it all around, uh, but the, the depopulation of more than 40 million birds uh, was primarily in these two sectors. I've also observed that exports were far less impacted as a result of outbreaks this time around than the last time we saw HPAI in domestic flocks. Following reports of HPAI in U.S. flocks, major markets moved to restrict imports of U.S. poultry from a countywide or statewide level this time around, rather than using blanket bans across all U.S. poultry. Both extraordinary protein demand uh, and the fact that HPAI has become more common globally are seen as key contributors to steady exports in 2022. What did you find the most striking as you did your research for this report? Well, it's important to understand that the stakes are higher this time around. Rough math tells us that the value of poultry production has nearly doubled since the last time HPAI impacted U.S. poultry. With higher opportunity comes higher risk. This is especially true when considering operational efficiencies uh, are more dependent on yield rather than throughput. Uh, U.S. broiler uh, live weights are up roughly 6% from where they were at in 2015. Wow. Um, so to wrap up, you've been around this industry your entire career. What do you see looking forward for HPAI for the poultry industry? Well, instances have slowed, but they haven't completely gone away. Uh, this is another contrast to the last major outbreak. The last time the U.S. battled HPAI, instances uh, disappeared in June. A recent study uh, based on observations in Europe suggests that HPAI will be endemic to the flocks there. Um, that means that they'll expect occurrences year round rather than a seasonal fluctuation in, in cases. Uh, for U.S. producers, stamping out procedures seems to be the best way to protect production, suggesting persistent reverence uh, to the threat. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Brian. To learn more, read Brian's report on cobank.com.